Okay, we got a we got a one v one here. Kip is two star, and uh, Manu here is uh, one star. Kip being blue, Manu being red. All right, let's uh, see what this is. Um, it's not really much to say at this point, so I might just uh, be right back. I am back and seems like nothing really happened. They got two and three kills each. Quads are gone, I'm guessing quads are gone, yeah. Oh, quad and trike. Okay, so Manu has begun triple ooh, triple heavy production, I like that. Kip just begun um just began his second heavy production now. 17 okay <clears throat> it's always the the corner here that never gets scouted out like it's I feel bad man <laughs> okay um let's see so the key to facing a two star opponent is to knock them down early on so manu has to attack 
at eight minutes and it's better if he attacks from two fronts <clears throat> so probably the top here and the bottom just because Kip's halves are split so that would be a nice pick I don't think Kip could defend both perfectly so Manu should probably capitalize on that um, yeah it's gonna be tough for Kip to de defend the first little bit but if he pulls it off then the game should be his oh yeah I turned my audio off <laughs> fuck I can't even turn it back on okay whatever <coughs> Man who's scouting the middle. I'm surprised he didn't scout this earlier. I didn't see it though, so I'm not sure what happened. See, the thing with this move here is that I get it. It makes sense. But considering the, the time, you can't do anything with this, this group. So it's better to leave it back here because during this entire time, he has time to build up a defense here. Um in response to the amount of fo forces you have up here. So if you give him a, a visual representation of the amount of force you, you have here, you could allocate a certain amount to counter it. <clears throat> so if you keep your units down here and then he has like a group of units in his base and then you split at close to eight, eight minutes, it's harder for him to make like a perfect defense force, like just enough so he, he could stop the force up here if that does happen and he um he sends too many units up here then that leaves a weak front down here which would be nice to capitalize on so <clears throat> good move he moved back here mcv sweet good expansion keeps playing awfully aggressive i like it wow At this point, I would be like still in my base, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Manu has a lot of scattered units across the map, which is a little strange. Like, why? He knows that Kip can't afford to attack right now, so. Oh, maybe it's a defense group. That's cool, too. Huh, look at that. Should already paid off. <laughs> Who am I to talk? That shit works like that. Nice. Nice. Alright. Um, Manu should probably try to get middle control as. Oh boy. This group might get doubled by his two groups here. Good movement, I guess. It keeps the sand here, you know, so he, he can only realistically attack from up here. Um. Kip has gathered a lot more forces. It's good that he um, pushed out th this far and picked off a group like this. Nice. This was a good move from Kip, just because um, divide and conquer, right? Good S. Pressing S there was key. However, Manu did bring the rest of his units in, which would prove... Uh, I don't know if that engagement was a worth it for Kip then. Oh boy. This fight's getting a little heavy. I believe Kip can win this fight. But he might not want to spend out all these guys here because that's pretty much all he has left. Never mind, he has another force, but. Still, though, at this point, he should probably save as much as he can. If he engaged this as of now, it would have been almost a fair fight. And if you're two, a two-star, you almost can't afford a fair fight. You always have to have the upper hand in every fight. Just because your production is a little slower. Okay, man who's going devs. I really want him to take middle here. That would be really nice. Uh, 
Um, guess we're playing the waiting game now. In terms of harves, I think they're both like fine money-wise. Kip's a little low, but um, you know, it's two star. Nice wall here. I like the wall. Okay, so man who did spot this. Oh, Trike's freaking barely alive, oh my god. <clears throat> okay, uh, why racks up here? Interesting. I'd like to see what he do does with that. Turn my mic even on. Good move here from Kip. A force like that can't do anything against the Sonics. But now that the uh, devs are here, you gotta be a little bit more careful with the Trades. No. Okay, I believe Kip has this game in the bag now. He he bought himself enough time to build build up his economy and production. And to be honest, he has a lot more map control than he should have. Manu, you gotta be m more aggressive during the uh, beginning here. Like, this top area hasn't been touched. Good pick. See, you take control of middle, but you don't set your base up here. You gotta set your, your base up here. <clears throat> that would help you a lot because devs they you know they're, they're slow as shit so if he fights you now you won't have your um, full pop of guys here to defend and this too this is out of p p position this is a easy pick for pick for kick Sonics would murk the front line here. Oh man. Alright, well, the trades here aren't in Manu's favor at all. And in fights, you should try to um, get the front of your group to stop inside of your entire group. So if you get the front of your group to stop, the back of your group can still move towards the, the enemy and then just line up perfectly around them. See, like, if these guys were here that entire time, you would have got a lot more kills. That was a little reckless from Kip. Uh, he could have killed those guys a lot cleaner, but at a point like this, it doesn't even matter because um, he's far ahead now. <clears throat> there was no siege there. It was just devs and harves and a little bit of uh, troopers. So if you sent your, your, your troopers in first, or just them, actually, you would have been fine. Would have saved a lot of uh, missiles and stuff there. Okay, so now is he using these defensively? Like I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Ooh, good move, good move, Manu. Those are units you want to kill, quads. See, the problem with the trooper defense is that it's static. It doesn't move around. Like, this would lock down th uh, this area, but he has to defend a lot more than just that, you know? <clears throat> okay, this game is pretty much wrapped. Ooh. 
Ooh, that was a money shot. This is Amanda, your uh, units are split here, so if he could... Uh, d dividing and conquering is one of the main things in this game. This is nice. Troopers just took the, the, the brunt of that force. <clears throat> dividing and conquering is how people win this game. Um, that's hard. You gotta... If, if you have two separate groups, you gotta go in with both at the same time. Or you just gotta pull back with one. Depending on... The situation, of course, but m more often than not. See, in a time like this, you can't really escape, so you, you may as well just stand and fight, you know? Even though it's not gonna do anything regardless. Well, damn. <clears throat> so, uh, message here is to be more aggressive at the start. Map control, occupy middle with a base, please. I do not have troopers on defense. They don't really stop a lot, you know? Against a smarter player, like, he could just go around them and you can't really do much about it. <clears> okay, <throat> in terms of kills, Kipple yeah, has around 20 more, which is, wow, surprising. And where are your siege, bro? You lost a lot of units just because you didn't have siege to, to back them up. You gotta build siege, and not only that, you have to keep them safe as well. Because if he sacks a few like quads just to pick off your only siege, it's well worth it. That was a little ballsy. <laughs> he was banking on him being like not paying attention to his guys there, but he was. Now that alone would take this entire group out. Just just the troopers here. <clears throat> all in all, great um, effort from both sides. Kip got early map control, which was really impressive as two star. Manu, um, he did have a few good fights there, but you gotta work in your positioning. Um, also, your unit mix. And expanding, bro. You had this for the longest time. See, in a time like this, I, I don't even know what Manu could do. Like, I don't think he could win at all at this point. Anywhere he tries to fight, I don't think he'll win. But, um, this was good. It was a decent stand. That was a good move. You don't want to just pour in from one angle. You're just going to feed them more uh, kills. That siege was really good. He pr pretty much killed all the troopers on his own. Actually, I didn't really see it, but I'm just gonna assume that that was a good spot for a siege. 
somewhere in the back inside and somewhere that he can shoot the opponent's troopers. That's always the goal. Holy shit, Manu's actually doing this. Okay, so what does Manu have to do now? I think you just gotta mass up devs and hives and try to push because this group it doesn't have a lot of health or armor. It's just a lot of attack and range. from time to time. The Sonic just killed half his shit. <laughs> That's why I hate uh, stupid ass fucking Sonics. I'm surprised you still have cash, man. Wow. Look at that, man. Nice. Good shit. Oh, shit. Never put your... Uh, um, the hell is this shit called? Refineries against the uh, wall here, because as you saw, that would happen a lot with only three harves. Like, that's bad. The stalls are eco a lot. Also, yeah, this is a good spot, too. Don't have it one block over, because same thing will, will happen. That is a good spot. That was an ambitious Sonic. <laughs> it's like, don't worry guys, I got this. Uh, this point, you need more backline, man. <clears throat> I, I understand you got these out of the uh, starboard, but try to get missiles. Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. Missiles and siege. So Manu, um, the next time at the start of the game, do not separate your groups. Make sure you have strength in numbers in any fight. Oh shit. Especially because you're one star and he's two stars, so he's gonna try to pick off smaller groups as much as he can. 